Hey guys, Alex here with Armadillo Armament. Today, we're going to be discussing the Defense Mechanisms MEP-C, the Mission Essential Plate Carrier. Before we talk about this, I have partnered with Red Pawn Shop. He makes really cool armadillo patches with quad knots for me and MCXs. If you use code armadillo, you will get 5% off your order. I will actually get a small kickback, and more importantly, he will be removing one pound of junk from the ocean and planting one tree for every item in that order. Not only are you getting a kick-ass patch for a pretty good price, but you are also saving the planet. All right, so defense mechanisms, MEPC. This is going to be an introduction video to the play carrier. I don't have that many rounds in this play carrier. Uh, most of my time in it has been me walking around the house and walking around outside with this PC. So I want to get a lot more rounds with this, a lot more reloads, a lot more reps, a lot more jump dropping into prone before I give you guys final thoughts. And that video will come later down the line. This video is simply to kind of uh, show you my setup and let me explain to you why I so far am really enjoying this play carrier. I used to own a cry SPC. I moved away from that play carrier because I wanted something a little bit more slimline and something a lot more modular. Modular is the keyword of this video, guys. It will likely be the title of the video. A lot of companies say that their stuff is modular, um, but they have a very unique like ecosystem that kind of ruins the modularity. There's a lot of play carriers and helmets and even rifles that do that. This defense mechanisms play carrier is actually modular. And I'm going to be discussing that as we get further into the video. So before we talk about things that I really like about this play carrier, I'm going to show you guys my setup. Before I do, it's really important to understand that I am a civilian. I'm not in the military. I'm not in law enforcement. What that means is that my needs are very different than those entities. I don't sometimes need to carry 210 rounds of ammunition even though it's a very good idea. I may not need to carry communications. I may not need to carry five different tourniquets like I do if I have a unit. So everything on here is from a civilian perspective and I'm learning every single day, guys. Uh, if you're a civilian, you don't really have these SOPs and things you need to carry around. So you just kind of learn over time and talk to people and figure out what might be a great idea to throw on your PC. That is where a lot of these attachments and accoutrements come from. It comes from needs that I see in myself. So let's talk about the play carrier. Well, I've got a large MEPC. I am running level four uh, single curve plates. And the reason that's important is that the MEPC is extremely well lined on the inside. This mesh material, as well as I have a plate backer in here, uh, makes the plate carrier extremely comfortable, much more comfortable than my prior SPC. So there are some minimalist plate carriers out there that really kind of skimp on that mesh. I do not think Defense Mechanisms has done that, and I consider this one of the most comfortable plate carriers I've ever worn. Moving forward of that, we have the placard system, which is actually extremely interesting. Remember I said that a lot of play carriers aren't really modular. Well, Defense Mechanisms actually is modular. Uh, this was purchased by Apex Armor Solutions, and this is the loaded placard. Why that's important, and I will take this placard off for you guys right now, is this placard is actually modular. This outer wrap right here holds everything in this placard together. but if I remove this outer wrap, I can completely customize whether I want a GP pouch here, whether I want pistol mag pouches or a multi-tool pouch. I can add a large GP pouch. I can add just Velcro, whatever I want. So in the past, I have used placard systems like the Haley Strategic uh, D3CRM, I think is the acronym. And I have found them to... Uh, not carry everything I need, as well as be incredibly bulky. Um, the defense mechanism placard is not that. It does allow you to tailor your loadout to whatever you need. They do sell this with the ability to carry AR-10 mags or AK mags. I have this as the 556 placard with a GP pouch up here that can carry a 20-round mag, which is actually really cool in case you're doing prone work. And I carry a multi-tool and a pistol mag. But if you want to carry a multi-tool and another type of multi-tool or chem lights or just two pistol mags or if you just want to carry a bunch of tools in here 
that's an option. You can make this an IFAC if you want to. I've seen a lot of people do that online. They carry tourniquets and whatnot in their front placard. And it just goes to show that the defense mechanisms ecosystem is actually modular. I'll put a picture on the screen of it right now, but I recommend you look at the Defense Mechanisms website or Apex Armor Solutions, which I can't recommend enough, even though they've had some issues I see on Reddit every once in a while, but I really recommend the ecosystem. It's not an ecosystem that limits you. And that's something that I've found with a lot of other setups. So this ecosystem really allows you to do whatever you, whatever you need to do, whatever your mission dictates. Now, Above this is actually one of my favorite features of the MEPC, and that is this little pocket. It's a small touch. Um, it's uh, it's kind of like a sandwich bag in a way. It's a small touch, but what I get to do with this pocket, or what I've chosen to do with this pocket, is keep batteries in there. Um, my night vision, which I will have a review of RNVGs coming up, my night vision run on CR123As. A lot of my pistol lights run on CR123As. My EOTech runs on a CR123A. And if you've ever been to the range with a friend and they show up and their optics dead, or you show up and your optics dead, you know how annoying, I'm not gonna put that back in. You know how annoying that can be and it can kind of ruin your entire range day. The fact that I can keep it in here and not have it rustling around in some kind of pouch uh, with the ability to fall out is actually pretty huge in my opinion. Now, the shoulder straps. Guys, the shoulder straps really kind of elevate the MEPC. Um, without these extra padded shoulder straps, and I'll put a picture on the screen right now of what exactly they are, the shoulder straps are incredibly comfortable without the extra cushion. With the extra cushion, it feels like I'm not even wearing a play carrier right now. Um, the SPC dug into my traps. I go to the gym. I'm a pretty big guy, but I go to the gym, which means that my arms, my chest, my traps are actually pretty large. My my neck is very thick because I'm a big individual. Um, these do not dig in to my neck. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, then you know how much of an issue that can be. You take your play carrier off after a couple hours and you just have a red line on the side of your neck. That's not the case here. These are incredibly comfortable and they're extremely low profile. On the original shoulder straps, they have cable routing capability. These extra padded shoulder straps have even more cable routing that I choose not to use because I have it over here. But if you do need to connect your contacts down throughout your system, um, this uh, these are a worthwhile upgrade and they're incredibly comfortable. Now, let's talk about comms. I am not a comms guy. I have a Bayo thing right here with a extra large battery, big antenna, um, and I have it uh, attached to a PTT, right? I'm not a huge comms guy because I don't have uh, friends that really utilize communications, and it's something that I need to get better at. But if you are in the military, if you are in a unit where you do need to have, I see guys with two or three radios, right? Giant radio, giant radio connected to their headset. If you need to have that capability, this play carrier does have you covered. I have chosen to connect my PTT kind of in a interesting way. It is uh, routed behind my side uh, cummerbund just to keep it a little bit more intact. It comes, of course, from this uh, kind of mag pouch. And then I have it routed through, and I will remove this for you. Actually, I'll just show you. I have it through this uh, kind of like placard um, placard attachment system. And I find that it uh, compacts it really close to the body. The wires don't get in the way. As you can see, nothing is gonna be snagging that. So if you do need comms capability, this play carrier 100% has you covered. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about one of my favorite features. I hate Velcro in a lot of ways, especially with placards. Um, we've all had play carriers like the SPC, like the JPC, like a million others where you need to lift up your placard and then move over that Velcro tab. Uh, what this play carrier utilizes is the tube system. So what you're going to do is you're going to lift up and pull back and it allows the cummerbund to be removed without having to lift up your placard. Now, many people find that to be a 
Many people do not trust tubes, and I get it. It's a piece, or it's two pieces of plastic that interface with each other. If you're rolling around in the dirt all day or in the sand or, you know, something bad happens, maybe it can break. I don't see that happening that much online, and I do consider this a robust system. I do consider this to be a robust ecosystem. However, if you do choose to stay with Velcro, Defense Mechanisms does have you covered. Velcro has a lot of benefits. It's arguably the strongest possible interfacing type. But I really enjoy the capability of donning and doffing my play carrier as easy as this. Um, it is extremely worthwhile. And once again, as a civilian, do I think I'm going to be breaking my tubes adapters? Not really. But even then, if you're in the military or law enforcement, I don't think you'll break them either. It's just important to note that you do have the ability to customize. Now, I have the five inch structuralized hybrid side uh, cummerbund, cummerbund. Now, they do offer a elastic cummerbund, kind of similar to like T-Rex arms and Velocity has it. Um, I like a more rigid system. Now, they also have another one that incorporates this five inch um, structuralized system with, in the very rear, there is a elastic portion. So what that does, it allows you to breathe very well. Um, I think that seems very interesting. I chose to stay with this one. This is the package that Apex kind of had on their website, but it's something to look into. It's going to be a little bit less rigid than this. So if you do need to run like side plates, then I would recommend you go with this five inch non-hybrid version. But if you do want that extra breathability, it might be worth it to look into it. Let's talk about the right side of my plate carrier. So uh, I am a righty. What that means is I draw from my right side, I present uh, right eye dominant, right? So I like to keep my right side very slim. Now you can see that I have a GP pouch here. In this GP pouch, I have medical and I have a tourniquet. I have a little flashlight as well. Um, this is low profile enough that I can draw without it impeding my draw whatsoever. On the left side, I, of course, have pouches, which I'll get into, but once again, uh, you don't want to load up the side that you carry your pistol on because you want a very clean draw. Uh, the Defense Mechanisms GP pouch 100% is low profile enough that you, can, that you can actually utilize that space under Cumberbund, and I wholeheartedly recommend this. This is a very good, like, IFAC location or just extra medical location, or if you just want to throw some pistol mags in there or chem lights, it's a great spot for that as well. Whatever your, whatever your mission really dictates. On the left side of the plate carrier, I have two Eagle Industries uh, M4 mags. M4 mags are kind of the best, uh, or mag pouches, they're kind of the best mag, or the best pouches you can buy because they're very slimline GP pouches that allow you to carry M4 mags if you need to. I can very easily throw a uh, P mag in here and increase my capacity by 60 rounds, or I can use it for what I'm currently using it for. That is a Beofang setup, and then I just have a tourniquet back there. My friends, uh, I find they don't carry nearly enough tourniquets, so I kind of go overload on the overload on the tourniquets in my plate carrier setups. I have a extra tourniquet right here using their side wing adapter, and then I carry a tourniquet here. I carry a tourniquet in this V's combat system pouch. I carry a tourniquet under the pouch right here, and I carry extra tourniquets in my pack. Tourniquets are incredibly uh, valuable to carry. Medical is arguably more important than having like a rifle. Uh, same with like comms. Uh, the chances of us ever needing a rifle is very slim. The chances of you hurting a leg or an arm or whatever at the range, maybe like Spall coming back at you, it's a pretty big threat. So I carry so many tourniquets. I also carry them in a lot of my pockets as well. So uh, that basically covers most of the front of the play carrier. I want to talk about under. This is really the only thing that is not defense mechanisms. This is a bees combat system uh, dangler pouch. Now, I don't love danglers. I especially hate giant danglers. Uh, I think they kind of get in the way of your belt setup when you're sitting down. It can be very annoying when you're sitting in a car. It can be very annoying. And when you're going prone, it can be very annoying. I have found that this dangler is small enough that it is very... Not much of an issue. Um, it, it's let's be real. It's basically 
a uh, Ferro Mini Dangler. Oh. It's almost the exact same thing, but this one comes in Multicam Tropic, which in case you didn't notice, Multicam Tropic is what this entire kit is, and Multicam Tropic is the best camo on the planet, uh, Fight Me. Uh, really quick on the Dangler, it does hold a uh, tourniquet on the bottom. It seems to be a very stable place to hold a tourniquet. I know it's not staged correctly. Don't don't get after me. I'll I'll fix it after. Some of these tourniquets aren't staged correctly. I kind of threw this together for a video. All right, I want to show you the rear of the play carrier. So as you'll see, I have the. It's called the recondite rear bag. What I keep in there is going to be extra medical supplies, as well as uh, I have the capability of carrying extra magazines. If shit ever hits the fan, my friends and I do have the capability of linking up, and I think it's important to have three mags on the front, maybe some extra on the side, as well as one in my pouch, one in my rifle. But once again, shit hits the fan, I'm probably going to be loading that up with 10 magazines, right? a shit ton of medical and a ton of extra magazines because I am going to have the capability of having a friend grab those for me. Now, worst case scenario, I am able to doff this play carrier extremely quickly and throw it back on, which is a massive benefit over something like a SPC or any other like Velcro play carrier. But then again, you really don't want to be taking off your play carrier in a shit hits the fan situation. You want to be keeping that, that on. Now, many people say that they prefer to carry a pack, and there's nothing wrong with a pack. I want to make that clear. There's nothing wrong with having a giant hiking backpack that you can carry hiking gear, but then 15 mags and a bunch of medical. I just much prefer this rear plate or this rear bag system because it's a lot tighter to my body. I find the straps don't interfere with like my cheek weld when I am on my rifle, um, and I just find it to be a lot more comfortable. When I am in the car, I see a lot of people saying that driving with a pack on your back is kind of annoying if you're doing like vehicle borne operations a lot. I don't find that to be the case, first of all, because I'm a civilian, I'm not doing vehicle borne operations. But second of all, because if I take out everything from this pack, it takes up zero, zero space whatsoever. Uh, if anything, it's probably a little bit of extra cushion for your back. Um, so, you know, uh, if you have nothing on your back, I recommend you look into a rear bag. I really don't think there's any reason not to. And you can throw water in the back of it as well. I recommend carrying a canteen on you, but having a uh, camelback kind of system does have a lot of benefits. Now, uh, you're probably wondering what the braided black on the back of that plate carrier is. Uh, that is called braided nylon, or that is braided nylon. Once again, I am a civilian, so I don't have as much of a use case for braided nylon, but if you talk to firefighters, which is a really great, uh, great like profession to ask for feedback for when you're looking at like play carriers and tactical gear and whatnot believe it or not tactical gear isn't all shooting guys there's a lot of other stuff that goes into it but if you talk to guys that have been there and are in the military and like firefighters or law enforcement they always sing the praises of braided nylon the ability to carry a teammate out a lot easier um the ability to do God, it really has a million uses. Um, I think Velocity has a really good video on it. I recommend looking there. But I've opted to throw some braided nylon on the back of my kit. Also because it looks really cool. Let's be honest, and looking cool is half the battle. So um, that is a general overview of my plate carrier setup. I'm going to take this off right now. And we're going to talk about things that I really like about the plate carrier before I, of course, give a larger review in the future. Remember I told you that you could get on and out or uh, in and out of this play carrier quickly with that attachment system, the tubes attachment system? Yeah, I meant it. I just stopped that in five seconds. So the defense mechanisms MEP C. This is really heavy, so I'm not going to do this for 10 minutes. Um, what do I really like about this play carrier? Well, I've talked about it, but the modularity of the play carrier really made me interested, as well as the fact that I could make it very minimalist very quickly. As well, as in the rear here, this is how you change the sizing of the play carrier. So all you're going to do for that, 
With the SPC, you have to go back there and you have to unbraid a bunch of paracord. And if you have a, a plate bag, or not a plate bag, but a um, rear bag like this, you also have to take that off in order to get to it. Now, I go to the gym, so my weight kind of fluctuates. I've been 190, 200 pounds, six foot one, and right now I'm about 250 pounds after a pretty big bulk. A lot of fat. But anyway, my weight fluctuates. So going back there and having to change that constantly was absolutely miserable. On this plate carrier system, they have a much better system. And that system is tried and true Velcro. So what we're going to do is we, you're just going to lift up this flap right here. You're just going to lift up that rear flap and you're able to change this cummerbund placement with just a couple minutes and of course that velcro system that is a massive improvement over many other play carriers and i know a lot of play carriers do that but my spc didn't so i think it's a great talking point now what else do i really like about the defense mechanisms mepc well first of all i really like the camo options the ability to get your play carrier in multi-cam multi-cam black multi-cam tropic coyote complete black whatever you want is a massive benefit instead of being stuck to just multi-cam m81 people love m81 instead of just sticking to multi-cam or whatever camos that some of these more popular companies have you're able to change it to whatever camo you prefer i happen to love multi-cam tropic lastly i really like that the website has a slew of customizable options for the MEPC. It's not one of these systems where they promise you that they're gonna have the enhanced capability after a while and they never deliver or it takes them a year to have stuff in stock. Instead, what Defense Mechanisms does is when you place an order, you can place an order at any time, it's gonna take them a couple weeks to get it to you. It's gonna take them, I'd say between a month or two for you to get your play carrier but you can order everything you want and they'll ship it to you once it's available you're not waiting for some drop type system that a lot of play carriers and tactical gear companies do instead you're able to order stuff and just kind of look away from your computer for a month or two and it will show up you don't need to be constantly monitoring instagram in order to get the capability that you're looking for so that's about it um i will have a longer review of the mepc after let's say six months in it or 5,000 rounds. I want to get a lot more reps downrange with it if I find that pouches are falling off or straps are breaking or placard system that doesn't work, you know, I will tell you guys, but I don't anticipate any of those issues. This play carrier at this point in time is without a doubt my favorite play carrier on the market and I 100% recommend it. All right, like this video if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you want to tell me another play carrier setup that you have or you want to talk about setups. Dislike if you dislike. Comment down below as well if you hate me and if you want to start a shit throw and fight. And uh, it's been a pleasure as always, guys. I'll see you in the next one.